What is the difference between the epicenter and the hypocenter of an earthquake? The epicenter and hypocenter are two important concepts in seismology, the study of earthquakes. The epicenter is the point on the Earth's surface directly above the hypocenter, which is the point in the Earth's interior where an earthquake originates. When an earthquake occurs, seismic waves are generated at the hypocenter and travel through the Earth's interior, eventually reaching the Earth's surface. The point on the Earth's surface directly above the hypocenter where the seismic waves first arrive is known as the epicenter. The epicenter is typically easier to locate than the hypocenter, since it is located on the Earth's surface and can be detected by seismographs, which record the seismic waves generated by an earthquake. By measuring the arrival times of the seismic waves at different seismograph stations, scientists can triangulate the epicenter and determine its location. In contrast, locating the hypocenter of an earthquake is more challenging, since it is located beneath the Earth's surface and cannot be directly observed. Instead, scientists use a technique called seismic tomography, which involves analyzing the patterns of seismic waves generated by an earthquake to determine the location and properties of the hypocenter. Understanding the location and properties of the hypocenter is important for studying earthquakes, since it provides information about the underlying geological processes that caused the earthquake. By studying the seismic waves generated by an earthquake and the properties of the rocks through which the waves travel, scientists can learn about the composition, structure, and behavior of the Earth's interior. This information can help to improve our understanding of plate tectonics, earthquake hazards, and other important geological phenomena. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.